Hopefully, this will blow your mind. I will select all those overlays and I will place them a bit lower because I need to know how those pictures are called. Go to Home, Select, Selection Pane and if you have an old version of PowerPoint and don't have the selection pane, well, you just have to remember and try it one by one. I'll call this Picture 1, this Picture 2 and now will come the crazy part. Look at that. Super simple. I've selected all those overlays. I'll go to animations, add animation, fade. All right, we did fade. Everything is on the same animation. I'll select the first part. It's rectangle 45. So I'll double click on it. And you can see on the bottom here, we have triggers. I'm not entirely sure that all PowerPoint versions, I mean the older versions that have triggers, but the newest versions definitely have them, but I will leave the older as well. Trigger, animate as part of click sequence, start effect on click off. Select start effect on click off and select rectangle 45. Now you know why I did rename those pictures. We are slowly getting there, okay? Rectangle 45, okay. Select the second picture, it's rectangle 46. Click here, trigger, start, rectangle 46. You can probably see where I'm going with that. We have triggers here and triggers are also something super amazing in PowerPoint. Now this guy, 47, trigger, start, select 47. Now this one, double click, trigger, start, uh, 48 okay 48 okay now before we proceed I want you you can see it's on mouse click press shift f5 as I hover my mouse you can see it's clickable look what happens boom 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 as I click it disappears but now as I click on those photographs I would like them to appear back how to do this Select all of them with the shift click, add animation, now fade in. And this is why I wanted to know that this is picture 1, 2, 3, 4. Because I will select that one, I will select the first one, trigger, start effect on click of picture 1, ok. Now you see where this is going, this one, on click, select the one animation, Trigger, on click off, picture 2. Select this one animation, trigger, on click off, picture 3. The last one, trigger, on click off, picture 4. A bit difficult, but look, shift F5. I click here, I click here again. Because with click, I'm revealing this object, but with click on this picture, I'm making this object appear back again and I can play with this around as I want. You can see the possibilities that lie here and this is something outstanding that really will distinguish you from a super professional in PowerPoint and a normal designer who does random slides. This is knowledge which not everyone knows and I really do love how it looks and I can work and play with the overlay. It's the same way as you have in Home, Insert and Links and Actions because actions are triggers. For example, if I hover my mouse here, it will take me to another slide. This is the same, just triggers are for animations. I hope you did enjoy this tutorial as well because we now animated this beautiful slide twice with totally different techniques. I like both and I think that you should know both as well. Now your turn is to make triggers on those and if you have any troubles make it easier for you. Make only two images here and try to work as long until you get those two.